What is the message of this cartoon? Seven marks. This is a common, common question on the Britain paper and on the international relations paper. You must know how to do it. It's guaranteed to be in the Cold War section. It's guaranteed to be in the Britain section. Sometimes it's worth seven, sometimes it's worth eight, sometimes it's worth nine. But you must know how to answer this question. The format is this. Follow these three bullet points. What is the source telling you and making you think about the topic? Essentially, what is the story it is showing? You then need to explain details from the picture. Aim for three. And explain what do they mean. Don't just say, I can see this. Say, I can see this. This tells me. Give the context of the source. What is going on at this time in history? Show the examiner that you can link this picture back to what is going on at the same time. So, let's have a look at the source we're going to look at. I'm just going to leave it on. Highlighted three things with arrows. Just have a think about what those things represent. What is the story of this picture? Okay, no, I didn't go anywhere. I just thought I'd leave you to think about that. You're not going to get to see the sources in the exam until you open the exam paper. So you've got to get used to seeing a random picture and picking out the key things. Now, I've obviously given you three arrows. I'm helping you a little bit. But what do these arrows mean? What are we saying underneath them? So we've got a picture of this guy here. You've got to know who the characters are. You've got to know what's going on. I mean, this is about the Cuban Missile Crisis, so we must know that that must be Kennedy, that is Castro, that is Khrushchev. You've got to know who these people are, you've got to know what they look like, you've got to know the key characters. So what does it mean, why are they drawn in the way they are? Well, Kennedy is dressed in white and he looks clean cut. In the movies, the good guy is always in white. Kennedy's in white, nice light colours, he's the good guy. This tells us it's an American cartoon, and if you look, He's standing there with his hand by his gun, so he's standing up ready for the villains who are entering the town. And that's Castro and Khrushchev. So we've got Kennedy nailed down. He's standing up. He's the sheriff former. He's protecting the town. The small guy is Castro. And you can see that because he's small, he's less of a threat. He's not the main sort of issue here. And look at him. He's on a donkey. A hairy donkey. And he's dropping his gun. And this makes him look comical. So the artist is also sort of undermining Castro by saying, yeah, he's a villain, but he's not the big threat. So then, who is the big threat? Well, I mean, you can just see, look at this picture of Khrushchev. Just look at the way he looks. He's sort of arms by his side. He looks quite muscular. He looks like a gorilla. But Khrushchev is in black like a bad guy, just like in Hollywood films at this time and still today. He's larger than Castro, so he's clearly the real threat. And he's behind Castro, so he's backing him up. Castro is confident in challenging Kennedy because he's got Khrushchev behind him. So how are we going to start applying those three pieces of detail to this source? Well, the message of the source is that the good, clean-cut Kennedy is standing up to the villains who are riding into town. That is how we start our question every time. Whenever we get a question, What's the message of the source? You start with the message of the source is. And the message for this one is the good, clean cut Kennedy is standing up to the villains who are riding into town. How do we know that Kennedy is good and clean cut? He's wearing white. Simple. And also, it's an American cartoon, so they're going to be on Kennedy's side. And why is he standing there? Because he wants to protect the town from the two villains. So we've got that, that is our key point. So now we need to use our three detail points to push us on to get some real marks here. Kennedy is shown standing up to the threat. So there we go, so we're picking out, how do we know that? Because of the way he stood. Castro is shown as the smaller threat. How do we know he's the smaller threat? Because he's being shown on a donkey and he's dropping his gun. 
So he's clearly not much of a threat. He can't control his gun and he's on a donkey. It's not exactly deadly, is it? And at the same time, he's also quite small. So it's signifying the fact that, just like Cuba, it's a small place. A fly compared to America. So we've done Kennedy standing up to the threat. We've done Castro, the comical Castro. Now we're moving on to Khrushchev. Khrushchev is dressed in black like a bad guy and is larger than Castro, so he is the bigger threat. That's pretty obvious. The big guy is going to be the big threat. And furthermore, he is behind Castro because he is backing him up. So, recapping the message of the source. And the good thing that Kennedy is standing up to the villains who are arriving in town. That is the key message. And how do we know that's the key message? Because Kennedy is shown standing up to the threat. Castro is the smaller threat because he's shown on a donkey and he's dropping his gun and he's quite small. And Chris Chev is dressed in black like a bad guy and he's larger than Castro, so he's the bigger threat. He is behind Castro because he is backing him up. And if you write all of that, you'll come out with five, maybe six marks, depending on the mood of the examiner. But this is out of seven, so what can we do to push ourselves up to seven? Because we want to be going for top marks, we want to be securing those top grades. This is what we add in. We add in the context. The cartoon is in the context of Khrushchev supporting Castro and having put weapons on Cuba. This cartoon was made during the Cuban Missile Crisis. You need to tell the examiner that you know that. What was going on? How was America feeling? The US was frightened as Cuba was very close to America and they felt threatened. Mm, this was a new thing for the Americans. They weren't used to feeling threatened. Kennedy had to make decisions to avoid nuclear war and he did this by stopping the USSR. And this is interesting because you don't have to go into masses and masses of detail about the Cuban Missile Crisis. That's going to come in the next sort of question on the exam paper. But you do need to set the scene, and that is how you set the scene. So, breaking this down, there's your start. The message of the source is that the good Clean Cut Kennedy is standing up to the villains who are arriving in town. That's the key message. How do we know that's the key message? Because, same color before, Kennedy is shown standing up to the threat. Castro is shown as the smaller threat because he's been shown on a donkey and he's dropping his gun, he's also quite small, you could add in the fact that it's comical. Khrushchev is dressed in black like a bad guy and he's larger than Castro, so he is the bigger threat. He's behind Castro because he is backing him up. Moving on to the context, the context of the cartoon is that Khrushchev is supporting Castro and has put weapons on Cuba. This frightens the Americans and they feel threatened. So Kennedy has to make decisions to avoid nuclear war and he did this by stopping the USSR. So, whatever you take from this, there are three stages. The message, the detail, the context. The message, the detail, the context. Whatever the source, the question is, what is the message of the source? You do. The message, the detail, the context. 